Let's go. Let's go. Yee! Oh. What is up, YouTube? My name is Jake, and this is the debut video for Landskiff Outdoors. Now, I'm brand new to this. This is the first time I've ever used a GoPro. First time I've tried to do any of this stuff, you know what I mean? But hey, the idea is to live the dream. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I'll try to try to go do what I do on my days off and make it interesting, you know? And I'm gonna do it to the best of my ability. So anyhow, you know, just got off work. Just came home, took a shower. I'm gonna load up some gear and head on out of here. Keep you updated. DOA Terrorize. See what happens. <laughs> Big old bass, tarpon, and then you have the added bonus catching little, you know, weird things like peacock bass, whatever. Whatever's in the waters above it. They'll get mixed in. I've seen snapper and stuff like that. So I'm gonna throw this Terrorize and just run it through that whitewash. Sometimes you can bounce it real slow. You can give it a little action. Boom, just missed a fish. Sheesh. It's a good sign. It's a good sign. All right. Let's do that again. Anyway, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Maybe I'm hitting bottom. Can't really tell. I just feel like I'm getting hit though. All right. That's what I do. Oh, I just love that piece of fishing line. Try out the road noise. I'll try to skip them tilapia up under the bridge as far as I can. Oh, I see a blue crab. Like I said, right now, it is not the best time in Florida to do this. It is like the middle of January. The fish are... Oh, there we go. Let's go. Let's go. Yee! Oh, get out of there, boy. I only got 40 pound line on. Not good. He ate it right in front. And that, my friends, is called a heartbreaker. Well, you know what? <laughs> um... I like a noob, cut the camera off because I was a little bummed out. And I, sh I have every right to be bummed out. You know what I mean? That was like a, I don't know, a 30, 30 inch snook, something along those lines, which sure, it's nowhere near the biggest snook I've ever caught, you know, but it's a good fish. And this is my first filming of a YouTube video. I would love to have something cool to show y'all. But honestly, I'm pretty stoked on that footage. It was pretty sick. I made a rookie mistake, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I, uh, when he came over that corner, I should have had my rod tip out really far. And I didn't, you know? When I come to these bridges, uh, I do run like 50 pound um, fluoro, which is what I'm tying on right now as we speak. Um, I do a good four foot a liter something like that like two arm lengths just because here there's no room to play with them you got to have pretty tight drag and you want to rip them out of there as soon as possible you know so it's kind of like reminds me of like maybe offshore fishing like getting them away from the sharks except there ain't no shark there's gators out here don't get me wrong now and i've had to fight a gator for some tarpon um that was a fun fun time i wish i had that on film it was actually a lot of fun i had to fight him with a stick rod in one hand tarpon and, and that happened for three fish in a row now miraculously i landed all three tarpon anyway i'm getting off topic i made a rookie mistake lost a, a decent enough fish definitely was a good fish um he ate it right in front of my face too it was sick anyways it's all good no sleep lost on that one it would have been great for the video but you know what dude 
I've been fishing long enough to, to know that's gonna happen. We make mistakes, get over it, keep fishing. All in all, I'm gonna take it as a good sign, y'all, because that was a good sized fish on the first cast. Let's go. And I wish y'all could see the blue crab. I am gonna throw one right back in there, although it sounds kind of silly because, you know, I just lost one there. But you guys don't understand, unless you're from this area, then you know probably exactly where I am. These snook stack in here thick, and I mean thick. You know, in the summertime, it sounds like shotguns, you know, pop, pop, all freaking day. But yeah, I was reeling in like this, and that dude just came up and hammered it. But anyways, we don't got to talk about that no more. The snook's dead and gone. Well, he's not dead, but I do feel bad about leaving a hook in him. This is a pretty dangerous place to fish, I ain't gonna lie. You know, especially when you're like me, walking on these railings. But, catch a lot of good fish here, you know? No like 40s or anything like that. But we catch some good ones, you know? Uh, definitely some 30s, lots of 25s, 27s, some slots. They're here, they're here. Guys, a ginormous manatee. I do not think you can see him on the GoPro. He's right here, probably about to come up for air. Oh, he's so pretty. I wonder if I can use... Oh, there he is. Ah, I don't think you guys can see him. All right, we're about to hit the next bridge. However, a nice school of bait. So, sure, we're gonna get him. And that... <laughs> what? <laughs> It was a terrible throw. Gosh. Well, that's no good. Still got one, but dang, dude. What a sad display of cast net throwing. I'll tell you, sometimes trying to throw them things real short, it can be a little tricky. Don't tell me it ain't. You'd be lying. You'd be lying. We're at the second bridge. It might look the same as the first bridge, but it's not. I got a good feeling. Let's go. Sun's coming out. It's like 85 degrees today in January. Only in Florida, right? Oh my goodness. Oh my. I hope you guys can hear that. There is a ruckus going on under there. And I'm missing it. Where are they? Where is it? I can't see the wake. There's fish here. Oh my goodness! How am I not getting... Oh, they're over there. They're over there. Ready? This is how you catch a snook. Creep on in. Oh, of course, it was a terrible cast. All the build up this way. get one out of here shortly because they were just exploding what oh my god oh my god guys they are popping under there where are they there we go let's go good fish keep him out keep him out he's trying to take me down boy let's go 50 pound leader gives me some confidence get his head up i can't really tire him out keep his head up he's hooked good this is the fun part <laughs> you gotta walk him out it's dangerous and this is how you lose fish but listen when you're walking a bridge this is what you gotta do he's not a huge snook maybe i don't know 20 25 i'm just gonna flip him because i can Woo! Let's go. At least I got the land of fish for y'all. Geez. Hooked perfectly, otherwise I probably would have lost them. Uh, let's see if y'all can see him. Get out of there. Pretty fish. Beautiful common snook. Nothing huge, nothing small. A fun fish nonetheless. Yeah, yeah, so we're gonna get him out of here and keep on throwing, baby. Beautiful snook, beautiful snook. 
Bye, buddy. He's ready to kick. Oh, there he goes. He's out. Hey guys, this is a slow time. Uh, let's hold up. Oh, let's go. Smooth. Oh, jeez. There's a real mad dude there. Oh, he's good. He's a good fish. He's a good fish. Guys, I know this is how to lose a snook 101, but just trust me. That's what you gotta do. How else are you gonna get him? He's gonna go right up here. Oh god, that was dangerous, guys. I should have just gave him a nice easy release, but you know what? I didn't. Or not release. You know what I mean, dude. I should have like got down there all skillful and picked him up, but it's not what I did. I'm excited. First time filming, dude. Get out of there. Oh, be easy, buddy. I don't wanna hurt you. Stop it. Another nice snook. Beautiful fish. Wanna see inside his mouth? It's ugly. Nice gill plate, eyeball. Goodbye, buddy. Let's get a nice release on this mofo. Can I say it on YouTube? Alright, get the old tail waggy. The old tail waggy. Dude, go. And you got water in my boot. Appreciate it. Dance again. Oh my god, they're still going. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, do I need to retie? Guys, I've been hooking them perfectly. Perfectly. I hear action. We have fish. Oh, I think there's a bait here too. You're not a good cast guy. What? That's why. Take care of your reels, guys. I tried to, but hey, we all fall short sometimes. Okay, why? Why are you already fried? Did I just smack you or what? I mean, again, guys, look. I understand. I'm really excited about catching like a 25-inch snook. But here's the thing. They're so fun to pull out from under this bridge. You have no idea. Well, maybe you do have an idea, but I have an idea. I love it. It is very troublesome when you hook a big one. Dang, there's all kinds of wake down there, dude. All kinds of wake down there. Oh, good cast. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my goodness! Got me in the piling. That was a stud. That was a stud. Oh boy. Guys, <laughs> that was a good fish. I almost broke my rod. Uh, it happens, you know what I mean? It's like, you're fishing these bridges and, oh, they just, they, they're, you catch a big one, it's really hard to land them, you know? It's like, even though your leader is that long, it, the way they can rip around and, you know, you don't have much room to work with and it's really easy to lose a big fish, as you saw. Maybe I could have did something better, you know? Obviously my braid touched the piling, but, it is what it is, you know, it's all in good fun. I love coming out here. It's a beautiful area. Oh, oh I can't even explain how much fun that I had filming this first video. Um, that was great. I was worried that I was gonna go out there, I was gonna get skunked or something like that, you know, and it would be all discouraging and, you know, all that good stuff, but that wasn't the case, you know, had some action. I'm happy with the, the results and it was great. I had a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you know, like I said, my goal is just <laughs> to be 
you know, teach a little something uh, to be as entertaining as possible and just share the love that I have for going out there and doing this stuff, you know what I mean? Um, it's all about getting out in nature, catching some fish, yes, but, you know, the, the experience is where it's at. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give a like, give a subscribe. Um, get more to you as soon as I can.